head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my boss to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message starts to spread. And I had so many dreams. When you hit your teens, I didn't really. Hey, how's it going, YouTube family? Welcome to Box Fit. This is your 30 minutes of calorie kicks. I am Dhruv, your instructor for this session. In this session, you can expect a lot of kicks, a lot of punches, along with some crazy HIIT full body exercises that's gonna help you burn a lot of calories. I hope you're ready to crack it with me. So before we start with our workout, there are some mobilities and warm up that you need to start with. Let's start with our stretches, yeah. First one, arm circles. Let's go five times forward, five times back. Follow along with me. Let's get started. Keep your arms fully extended and that smile on your face. Keep on going. Three, two, one, and change. Next one we'll be doing, it's called alternate two touches. All right, now to do this, keep your feet wider than your shoulders. You bend down, make sure your knees are locked. Take your left hand towards your right toe, touch it, and stretch out your other hand towards the sky. Then you switch to your other side. And that's how we'll be repeating. 30 seconds of work starting in three, two, one, and go. Keep going. Rotate your spine. Keep on going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one and break 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 all right going for the next one it's on the floor it's called inch worms all right to do this you keep your feet at your shoulder width push your back squat down imagine you're sitting on a chair now place your palms down walk forward to a push-up position then you walk back and stand straight up simple easy right 30 seconds of work let's get started in three two one here we go Come on, this will really help you to get your shoulders warmed up, your core warmed up. Let's do this. Come on. Keep on moving. Keep your spine straight when you're standing up. Last five. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Quick for the next mobility. It's a combination of a squat and a lunges. To execute this, you need to know how to do it, right? So, feet shoulder width apart again. Push your back. Sit on a chair. Imagine you're sitting on a chair. You come back up. Once you're done with that, you take your one foot forward. One big step. Drop your back knee as low as you can towards the floor, but don't touch it, okay? Come back. Same thing at the side. 30 seconds. One squat. Two alternate lunges. We'll be doing three two one here we go now things you have to remember in this movement is you don't have to fall to the side or don't fall forward while you're doing that lunge it's really important to keep your body within the center your abs side and you keep on moving Last three, two, one, and relax. Going for the last one, it's called leg swings. So what you're gonna do is, stand on your one foot if you have wall beside you or something, you can take support from there. Swing your leg forward and back just like this for 10 seconds each side. In three, two, one, and go. Keep it chest up, keep going. Three, two, one and change the other side keep going almost there keep your knee locked three two one and that's it good job that was a mobility work we're done with that this is the time we'll go on to our warm-up all right but there are some movement that i want you to learn before we jump in to our boxing or kickboxing workout so what I want you to do is, I want you to learn the basics of boxing. So first, you have to stand at the shoulder width stance. If you're right-handed, you will take your right foot back. If you're left-handed, that's opposite for you, all right? 
So take your foot back, keep your hands on your cheek, your elbow stays in, all right? Now that's your boxing stance. No matter what, you have to stay always in this stance, all right? That's where, that's from where we throw punches and we come back. We'll learn the basic punches that's called jab and a cross, okay? Jab is your left, cross is your right punch, right straight punch. Now what I want you to do is stay here, give me a left straight punch, aim in front of your nose, extend that punch and come back from where you started. We'll do 20 seconds of only jab, all right? Three, two, one, and let's go. Now, if you can see, I'm rotating my hip along with that punch. That really helps me with the extension, and that's how we do punches in boxing. It's not only about my arms. I'm actually using my full body to bring in that power and the right technique. Three, two, one. One and change. We'll move on to our right, our dominant hand. That's called a cross. So now to do this, you extend that punch in front of your face. Now make sure when you're doing that, again, as I said, you're not just using your arm, so you have to twist your back foot along with that, all right? Twist your back foot, extend that punch, come back from where you started. 20 seconds, right side. Three, two, one, and go. Extend that fully. Imagine you're holding a cup in your hand and when you're going out, you're pouring out that cup that will help you with the little rotation of your fist. Come on. Keep going. Three, two, one and time. All right. Now, these are the basic punches. We'll move on to our exercise now. 30 seconds, I want you to do jumping jacks. Remember, we're doing warm-up, right? So jumping jacks, 30 seconds. Your feet together, hands at your side. You jump out, take your hands up. Jump in your hands back. Starting in three, two, one, and here we go. Come on. Keep going. Stay light on your feet. Jump in and out. Let's get ourselves ready for an intense workout. Come on. Let's go. Almost here. Last 10 seconds on the clock. Keep on going. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, that was nice. Now we're moving on to round number two of our technique work, all right? Still, you're not done with the warm-up. So again, in the boxing stance, this time what I want you to do is you will extend your knee up, okay? We'll learn how to do knee strikes. So you stay away from where you started, your boxing stance. From here, you lift your right knee up and you drive it forward. And then you go back from where you started. All right, once again, you lift your right knee up and you push forward by leaning back and then you come back. 30 seconds, let's practice that right knee so that we're doing it right. In three, two, one, and go. Come on, lift and push, all right? If I'm just lifting my knee up, that's not how we do it. I want you to drive that forward. One more thing you can add in here is when you're lifting your right knee up, Swing your right hand back. That'll help you with some power and with some more balance. Let's go, let's do it, come on. The other hand stays up. Three, two, one, and switch. Your other side, now your left foot goes back, right foot forward. Training other side for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Come on, lift your knee up. Push forward, come back. Keep on going, just like that. We're almost there. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, stay where you are. We're done with the technique walk. Now I'll add one more cardio exercise. That's called side shuffle. All you have to do is stand with your feet together. Take three steps all the way to your left side. Once you reach there, you throw your right punch to your left side. Then you go all the way to your right and throw a left punch here. 30 seconds of this exercise. And I promise you, we're jumping into a workout after that, yeah? 30 seconds in three, two, one, and here we go. Keep going. Side shuffles on your feet, come on. Last 10 seconds on the clock. Let's go faster. 
three, two, one, and relax. All right, that was a warm up. We're done with the mobility. This is the time to we'll jump into our main workout. All right. So we have some exercises. We have some combination that I want you to do. The very first one I want you to do is it's jab cross, jab cross. So four simple straight punches we'll be doing for at least at least one and a half minute. All right. Then I'll give you exercise, which I'll explain you after that. Let's go for a combo. Jab cross, jab cross. Four punches. How are you gonna do it? Stay in your boxing stance and start jumping on the balls of your feet. That's how you hop. Then you stop. Give me one, two, three, four punches. Then you hop again. Cool. Now we know how to do it. So let's jump into it. In three, in two, in one. Here we go. Four punches. Keep moving around. Again, you can jump for two, three seconds, and then you move. Throw those punches. Drive them. Drive those punches out of your hip. I don't want you to use only your arms. You're using your full body here. So make sure your form is right. Yeah. Keep on going now. Come on. Twist that back foot and across. Come on. Use your hip. We're almost there. We have 40 seconds. Let's make them count. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Almost here. Come on. Keep yourself going. That's the very first round. Last 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. That's it. So that was our very first combination. This is the time we'll move on to our exercise. So the exercise we're doing, it's called butterfly sit up. Now, how to do it? You sit down on the floor. Keep your knee outside. Join your feet together just like this. Lie down your back. And you got to come all the way up and tap here on the floor, all right? 30 seconds of work in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Keep your chest to your spine straight while coming up. Inhale when you're going down. Exhale up. Come on, keep moving. Last 10 seconds. We're almost here. Last five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job. That was the very first round. We're done with that. We'll move on to our now number two. Before that, if you need a sip of water, catch it quickly and get yourself back up. Come on, guys. We have just started, yeah? Take a sip of water, get yourself back up. Meanwhile, I'll explain you what we're doing next. Now, this is the time where your knees will pop in, all right? So what I want you to do is three, throw three punches. Jab, cross, jab. Once you're done with those three punches, I want you to lift your right knee up and drive it forward. Simple. So jab, cross, jab. A single right knee. Move for one and a half minute. Cool. Take your position. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Again, make sure to hop. That's really important because it will really help you to stay active and move around. All of us here, keep on going, come on. Last one minute. Last one minute, everyone. Keep going, give your best. Keep going, keep going. Stay on the balls of your feet and make sure you're breathing out on each and every punch and every time you're doing those knees. That'll really help you to squeeze your core muscles and it'll help you with the power. If you know how to breathe quickly, you will not get tired as well easily. So keep that in mind and keep yourself going.
Last 10 seconds. Let's go a little faster now. Last three, two, one, and break. Awesome, stay where you are. Catch your 10, 10 seconds of break. We're doing an exercise that's called in and out squats. Now to do this, you stand with your feet together. You gotta, get, you gotta jump out. As you're jumping out, you go down, touch the floor with both your hands. Make sure when you're squatting down, your spine is straight and your chest up. And you come back in and you keep repeating. Just like that for 30 seconds. Okay, now we know that. Let's get started in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Come on. Again, move on the balls of your feet. If that's very, very hard, you step out. Do stepping instead. Now that's a scale down. If that movement is hard for you, if jumping is hard for you, okay? Last 10 seconds, almost here. Keep yourself going. Last three, two, one, and relax. Oh, my legs are burning right now. That was a really good exercise. We'll move on to our next round. Combination is different, so I want you to get up and see what you're doing next. This time, you're giving me a kick, all right? How to do a kick? As you did that knee, this time, I want you to do the similar movement, but along with that, you are extending your leg forward now. So, that's step number two, driving your knee forward. Step number one is lifting. Step two is driving it forward. Now, step number three is you will extend. Okay? You're just extending your leg forward and coming back from where you started. All right. So now the combination is jab, cross, jab, cross. Four punches. You shuffle like that for two times and a single right kick. Got it? Four straight punches, jab, cross, jab, cross. Two shuffles and a single right kick. Working for one and a half minute. Let's go in three, two, one and move. Come on, come on, come on. Extend that leg forward. Breathe out at the same time. Use your full body. Last one minute. Keep going, keep going. Move around. If you have space, it's better to move around. That will really help you to improve your footwork and you will burn some more calories. Last 40 seconds on this one. Let's make our punches and kicks count. Let's go, let's go. Come on. We're doing a great job. Let's push ourselves from here now. More reps, more speed, and some more power. And make sure whenever we throw punches, we keep our hands up. So that's, again, a really important thing that you have to remember. Last three, two, one, and relax. Good job. Now, moving on to our exercise, it's really, it's a very good exercise for your core. It's called plank hip rotation. So to, to do this, you have to go in an elbow plank. Place your both elbows down on the floor. Lift your knees off the floor, kick back, come on your toes, and make sure your head to toe stay in a straight line. Now, from there, you got to rotate your hips, right side, and then left side. 30 seconds, we'll be doing that. Let's go for it. In three, in two, in one, and move. Again, keeping your abs very, very tight. You know, core strength is really important. If you're following boxing or you're doing bodyweight workouts or weighted workouts, your core strength really matters. Keep going. Do it slow. No need to rush. Do it slow to feel it more. Three, two, one and relax amazing 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 now there you got a water break have a slip of water get yourself back up we are moving on to our next round 
a different combination and a different movement yeah all right so get yourself up combination this time you're hitting is a cross so you're starting with the cross this time give me a cross jab cross three punches there once you're done with that give me a shuffle left knee shuffle right knee all right three punches starting with the cross that's your dominant hand once you're done with that a single shuffle and a knee again a shuffle and again a knee okay walking for one and a half minutes get ready three two one and go if you're still not getting it it's better to stop and see how i am doing and follow along with me keep going breathe out breathe out you know that right when you breathe out it helps you with the power if i'm doing a punch just like that and breathing in a wrong way it won't help me when i'm breathing out when i'm going out i mean when i'm throwing the punches and i'm breathing out that's really helping me to keep my shoulders my body relaxed and to get that power so remember that and you keep going now Let's go, let's go. Come on. Keep moving. Hit that knee straight forward. Not to your right, not to your left side. Hit that straight in front of your diaphragm. And now keep going. Last 10 seconds. You're almost there. Don't you dare to stop. Last three, two, and one. Relax, relax, relax. Going for an exercise. It's called punch jacks now. So you know how to do jumping jacks. It's very similar to that. Keep your hands up on your cheek here. Feet together. As you jump out, you punch forward with both your hands. When you jump in, your hands back. 30 seconds. So let's do it in three, two, one, and here we go. Yeah. Keep moving. You can pace up if you're feeling good. If that's hard again. Stepping is for you. If any movement, any jumping movement is hard for you, it's better to do it with the steps. So that's how you can do it. For the skill down. Last three, two, and one. Relax. Good job. Catch your breath. I got a very last round for you. Combination is different. The little time I'm, I'm explaining, you can catch your breath. Take a break. Now, the punches I want you to hit is jab, jab, cross. So there goes three punches. Jab, jab, and cross. Once you're done with that, give me a right knee and a right straight kick. Got it? Again, jab, jab, cross. Right knee, right straight kick for one and a half minute. The very last combination. I want you to give your best for this combo and for the exercise that we're doing after that. So that's the last one. Start again. Three, two, one, and go. Again, jab, jab, cross, right knee, right straight kick. Do it with some power and speed now. Move around, move around, stay on the ball of your feet. Make your actions hard to miss, be a legend, not a myth. It's obnoxious that I'm conscious. Rapping on is just promise. Almost ready, let's go, let's go, come on. Now what I want you to add is you keep your hands up and then you do it. If your hands are coming down, wherever you are, just give me a burpee. Yeah? Keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. 
Come on, keep moving, use your hip extension, lean back as you're hitting that knee and a kick. Punches are easy to do, but it takes a lot of practice to master the kicks and knees. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job, catch your breath. Now the last exercise you're doing, it's called bicycle crunches. So for this, again, you gotta go, do, go down on the floor. It's for your core, for your abs. How to do it, land on your back, shoulders off the floor, legs off the floor. Hands goes behind your, behind your neck. From there, touch your left elbow on your right knee and right goes on the left. And you keep moving just like that for 30 seconds. Last 30 seconds of the workout. Go faster, give me your best. We go in three, two, one, and move. Keep going. Make sure you're turning your body. When you're touching those elbows, Come on, come on, come on. We're almost done. Last 10 seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, and that's it. Good job, everyone. We are done with our today's workout. All the great job. You can chill, you can relax, I'll not torture you. I'll not say torture, I'll not disturb you anymore. Lie down on your back if you wanna breathe. Breathe for 20, 30 seconds and we'll do some good stretches now. And don't leave this, this stretching, it's really important because this will help you prevent injury and also you will not feel that pain tomorrow, all right, from this workout. All right, let's get started with our stretching. So the very first stretch we're doing, it's called Cobra Stretch. To do this, drop your chest down on the floor, palms beside your chest. From there, you press up and you exhale. Keep breathing, stay there. And chain. Now sit back on your calves. That's a child pose. Extend your arms forward and stay right there. Keep breathing. Stay there, stay there. Three, two, one, and change. Get a lot of knees. So it's better to stretch those hip flexors. One foot forward, go in a lunge position. From there, you have to push your hip as much as you can and stay. So we have been uploading these workouts every single day or maybe every alternate day. You don't have any excuse. These are for only 30 minutes. Some workouts are for 20 minutes. You can give your 20 minutes to yourself, to your workout, to your physical fitness. It's really important because if you will stay Physically fit, it will really help you with the, you know, you will stay mentally fit as well. So make sure you're giving yourself these 20, 30 minutes and working out every single day. All right. If your schedule is busy, if you're not getting time to work out, it's okay. You can do these workouts on the next day, but make sure you are moving at least. That's really important. Okay. Change. Now you get up. We'll do some upper body stretches. Left arm goes onto your right side. Hold from your elbow and pull. Keep that smile on your face of completing this workout. And switch, other side. And change, stretch your triceps, your one palm goes on your spine, hold from your elbow and pull. And switch. Okay, change, we'll do the last stretch. Interlock your fingers, tuck your chin down, and press forward just like this, as much as you can. Feel that stretch on your back. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake it out, shake it out, that's it. Good job, everyone, you all did a great job. If you stayed with me till the end, that means you killed it. Yes, you nailed it. Yeah. You completed this workout, I'm really proud of you. As I said, make sure you're working out regularly, keeping your nutrition really, really clean. That's really important. That's the core of fitness. If your nutrition is not clean, you will not see results. So if you wanna, if your goal is to lose fat or to gain muscle or X, Y, Z, make sure you're keeping your nutrition clean. That's what matters a lot. All right. I'll see you soon in some of the next session. Till that time, you take care of your health. This is Dhruv signing off. Bye bye.